Time for teeing off brought to you by TaylorMade. Payne Haas drops a bombshell on the Broncos. What's happened here? Well, uh, Brent Reid has reported this afternoon that his managers decided to test the market in November uh, rather than sign and extend now with the Broncos. It's interesting because I spoke to this agent myself a couple of months ago and he was saying Payne's decision won't necessarily be about money but he, he's desperate to win a title. He won't. And the Broncos appear to me to be in a window to win a title. They're on top of the competition. Well, it's, exactly. That's where I find this story hard to understand. Bizarre. But look, I, I well, suppose... Well, his excuse is gone now. Because he's had a powerful club with a chance to win a premiership. Yeah, look, you know the other thing that's really bizarre? Sales. You know the other thing that's really bizarre, Gordy, is that the club, the Sydney club, who is continually linked to him, and they've actually uh, got Sonny Bill now working mm, with the yeah. Bulldogs, I believe, that he and, and, and Payne have uh, struck up a strong friendship over the course of the last 18 months. It's, it's Canterbury Bankstown that, at the right time, are the club that's supposedly going to make a play. Like, I think so Brisbane have from, looked after Payne. You know, like, when you hear of... And then all the stuff that's written about Payne in the paper, every time he does this every, like, ten games, doesn't he? It feels like this has happened a lot lately. This yeah. is actually well, good man. It's last year he, he asked yeah, he for asked a for really South through the year. Yeah, so he's actually, year. you know, he's doing nothing wrong. What his manager wants to do is go to the clubs that have been mentioned, find out what cash is available, go back to the Broncos and say... Can what you clubs? Um, who's involved? Hoops, the Bulldogs, Roosters, Dragons, Titans. They're the ones we know of. Mm. Canberra Raiders. Yep. Happily, he's so getting going. Yeah, yeah. 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 But he's got some big guns. The Bulldogs would he'd be a great buy for them, and you're right. But he wants Is to win it, a comp. If he wants to win a comp, how are you like at the moment, Canterbury's in a if rebuild. If he wants to win a comp, he's staying where he is at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I, would have the thought, I, I would have thought so. And the Broncos will go to good money. Like he's already on eight hundred and fifty, but I'm sure so that they'll be prepared. One. Given how important he is to everything that they're achieving at the mm. moment. I'm sure they'll be prepared to try and match whatever the market value is. Yep. Very interesting. Payne Haas, bombshell in Brisbane. Uh, he's asked to go on the open market. What's our thoughts on this? Sometimes I wonder who's advising you. Now, Payne Haas is going to get a million dollars a year or whatever it is. He might get a little bit extra if he goes on the open market. But what about what the Brisbane Broncos have done for him? You know when he was in, in trouble a couple of years ago? Was that a couple of years ago? Mm. When he was in trouble, they stuck by him. I reckon he should show a little bit of loyalty to the Brisbane Broncos. Yeah. He's worth a million dollars. Uh, I'd have him on my side. Uh, I do believe, as Block has alluded to, the Brisbane Broncos have been on the whole journey with him from mm. being a, a, yeah. a boy. Yeah. They've put polish on, mm. on him and they've taken him and the rough diamond has become a, a, a star. Yeah. And so he does owe the Broncos and yeah, I'm sure does. the Broncos mm. will, will remunerate him what he's worth, mm. but there is definitely a lot of his career is because the Broncos stuck by him. Yeah. I think it's a bluff. He, he got booed out of the stadium he last did. time. Yes. Yes. Malik, when he ran out, so the fans don't like it either. Mm. Well, how do you compare him to Lazo? Oh, there's, there's a bit of a difference. Lazo, Lazo was a tackle buster. This, this guy has got a, a brilliant engine, just goes all day. Mm. But I, I wouldn't put him in the same club. Well, yeah. Gordy would be able to tell no, you a no, bit no, better. No, like Lazo, Lazo could bounce blokes off him and play the ball quick and just mm. just take that much punishment. This guy, this guy's got a good engine and goes well, but I don't think he's in Lazo's class yeah, yet. Yeah, Lazo at his age has probably played in green, three grand finals and won mm. two. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And yeah. went to five in a row. So the teams Lazo played for, he dragged them to yeah. another level. He's the benchmark. Lazo is yeah. a yeah. Hall of Famer. Yeah. He's basically well, every prop yeah. needs to be. Yeah. And this guy's close, but he's not. Yeah, I don't think he's. Well, we've got Tino. Fafido, Fafida, 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 Fafida and Haas all on the market at the moment. Well, apparently, uh, who are you picking out of those three? I have Tino every Tino? day of the week and twice on Sundays. I find myself agreeing with you a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I go Tino. Yeah, Tino. I, oh, mate, he's aggressive. Mm. He wants to hurt you when he's running the ball. He wants to hurt you when he hasn't got it. Mm. Um, if if those three were on the market. My boy Tino. Bust the head eye. You're going Tino. Just Tino. leave him alone, boys. <laughs> leave him alone. See, they're, they're talking <laughs> Tino oh, up. The <laughs> they're, they're talking Tino up here, uh, mate. He won't have to. I won't have a man crush on him.